significant in the family died and this person had touched so many lives and so the weeping was much and the people that were depending on this person whose lives will now be stuck in the balance because of his absence there were so many and their wailing was quite intense tears weeping and I happened to be one of the people that was a beneficiary of that person so the name of the person we tell wailing and weeping wailing and weeping and indeed, that person's death led to the truncation of the destinies of many people. Till today. But before that person's death, I found the Lord. The person's death for me was an opportunity for the Lord to show me his capacity. See, at the end of the day, the man of covenant would thrive in terrible situations. A man without covenant will be a victim of situations and circumstances. That is how we will know if you really have a working covenant with God. When that person died, I knew that my options were not many. And what was available to me was the God I found in my sojourning. So I went to him. Because at that funeral, I knew that nobody would pay my fees I knew that I was on my own so I went to Jehovah and obviously the fees of so many people were no longer paid I went to Jehovah I said there's a challenge I don't know how I'll finish school can you help me and the legitimate people that were on ground that were supposed to carry my responsibility if the family system was functional those ones what they did was that they presented the situation as if they had their own issues to handle and they are so handicapped that they cannot carry extra body so at the end of the meeting that was held after the burial there was no solution for anybody's life. Sometimes you need a situation like that to find where your strength really lies. And in the place of prayer, what God did was that He showed me a vision of some years ahead. And then in that vision, I was the helper of many men. So instead of God, are you with me? Now I was praying, who will help me? The vision I saw was that I was what? Yeah. Sometimes the things you are looking for are the exact things that God has ordained you to be but you are not looking to the possibilities that are in God. My prayer for sustenance for school fees he ended after that vision. And then in practicality the way it happened was that when we left the barrier, I just had one more semester to go on campus. And then my sister's head up, a husband, now came and said, uh, God spoke to him to ensure that I don't suffer again. You know those days, I don't know if you remember when 200 Nara note 100 naira note came out for the first time. You know, we're using the highest denomination was 50 naira then. That was that was the time. That was the first bundle of 200 naira notes I ever had in my life. With that bundle, there was no need to cook again. My life improved dramatically after that situation of loss. Dramatic. The stove was not needed. There are many things that were not needed again. I went on an upgrade, a major upgrade. That's not all. I was on campus, and the best restaurant on campus those days, the owner of the restaurant, some of 
you know the story came to me and said in the spirit she had a dream that somebody put charm charm in a restaurant then i now came and i removed the charm and she noticed that customers are going that's okay i went on three days fast on the third day i came to her in fact when she saw me she called me customers have come back i have done what she saw in the dream she said i should go that this seat in the restaurant is my own until i leave this school i can come and eat for free i didn't eat there once because i had money god settled those issues i didn't eat there all kinds of things supply came from different quarters my life improved from that time till now i don't know but i came to challenge you i came to challenge you tonight that it is possible for you to go another step higher so what i'm saying is my life was not as good when my dad was alive my life was not as good as the life i started living when he died that's what i'm saying that's my testimony because i went to god and i now saw how god can travel over many states and touch the heart of a man and say be responsible for that at the end of the day i had three sponsors none of them was a direct relative as it were the closest was my brother-in-law three sponsors i had more than i wanted i had more than enough i said oh boy this thing they work on. so when i went for you service before i just got to you service i said we have to do that thing again i started praying life after you service and i prayed for one year and i didn't get any tangible thing i took a teaching job i continued the prayer Six, three months into the next year God now began to speak to me that is where he spoke to me about this ministry that's where he spoke to me about that woman on my knees there I was not asking for a wife I was asking what next after your service he showed me this ministry in Makode and then he showed me a woman to match when you are looking for a woman around the way <laughs> we call we are not alone you have a covenant partner he knows you are insufficient if only you can trust him he will show you great and mighty things that you do not know in fact the time came because of my churchy life churchy life many the elder ones in the family they did something as if they disowned me and I accepted it because they were a distraction to my life that's why when I went to Cano for you service I was not willing to come back until God answers me because I did not want any one of them to help me because if they help you you will be a slave forever so I went like Abraham the only thing I had was God I came back from you service a prophet one that could discern the heart of God. Hallelujah. I never needed them after you service because God answered all my questions. I have lived everything that God showed me. You know what He shows me now? Because I went back again. I went back again during my birthday. On my birthday, I locked the door when I came back from work on Friday. And I was there till Monday morning. And He showed me great signs. Yes. He showed me that the United Kingdom, Ghana, and South Africa, he has opened it to me now. Oh my. I was telling my wife before we came for the service, I had an invitation, my first invitation to South Africa to preach the gospel. I don't know. What do they call that place? Well, I've forgotten the name of the place. But he said, now is the nations. You have been going through training, and this is the time of emergence. Will you follow Jesus? Follow him. He knows the end from the beginning. You can trust him. Then, see, your life cannot be in a situation that is there's nothing like helpless. Nothing like okay. In this day of trouble and tribulation and trial, 
the Lord calls us to walk with him in covenant. He knows the way through the wilderness. The reason why you have faith is because you trust yourself. Leave that matter. Become the circumcision. That worship him how? In spirit. He should. He should. Yesterday after the meeting, I don't know. I think Kwame Nkrumah invested in Kumasi. Is that true? It's in Kumasi. So we are having a major revival conference in Kwame Nkrumah University. He spoke to me last year. And then now, the doors have opened. In the United Kingdom, the doors have opened. Just like the Lord said it. He will always give the direction. And then he will bring what he has said to pass. I, I don't know if that's difficult. You wait on him to get direction. And then you allow him to bring the word to pass. That is the life I've lived for many years. I can show you my diaries. When God said this, when it came to pass, a lot of them. And I have a lot of diaries because I've documented my work with God.